Hey. How you doing? I'm back. I never left. Did laundry today, February 25th. I supposed to make a video of yesterday. But let me talk, let's talk about yesterday. Because right now it's 1, 1 a.m. So let's talk about 20, February 25th. So, did laundry that day. I'll just talk about the presence of did laundry today. Um, that's about it. That's about every, everything productive that I really did. Swing on doing more. Woke up late. Around time. Had breakfast. Showered. Got ready. Had lunch. Got ready around 3. From 3 to 5, did laundry. Played Halo Infinite with a friend. With a friend that I went to, Dave and Buster's, he recommended the game. He wanted to hang out. I talked to him because we we started talking through a mutual friend. A mutual friend got us together in a group. Me and that mutual friend don't. Uh, it's the same person that, that for, if you know from my other videos, I really don't like to be around. Makes me a, a worse person. So... Um, since it was introduced to me, I felt, have, 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 let's talk about, like, have you ever, I don't know who I'm talking to, but it's like, you're in a, you're in a friend group, but you are the, the weakest link, and you don't want to sever that link by explaining you don't want to be with said you don't want to, you don't want to sever that link, that weak link, which would be the friend, mutual friend. Because let's say we're in a friend group and I don't, want to, I don't want to hang out with who brings me along to the friend group, but I want to hang out with you guys. It's like, uh, you know what I mean? So your other weak, weakest link, because they're friends with this person. And if you don't want to be with this person, like, like friend wise, they're, they're going to choose obviously, and it's normal. It's okay. They're going to choose like the friend they're like with the most, been with the most, instead of you, know, you which is fine. I get that. I would do that too. <laughs> it's just normal how human, human interaction, human group behavior works. And that's fine. But I haven't been open about that. But I guess it's fair because they have also asked me why we don't, we, why we aren't close, as close as we should be since we hang out so much. But we keep like a distance, a miscommunication distance between us, and I don't, I don't like that because there are great people, there are, there are nice people, really great people, really, really nice people, and I feel like they deserve at least an explanation as to, as to like why I have been more reserved and why I haven't, um, you know, been going out of my way to hang out with them, and um, yeah, that's that's it. I think even though. To, I'll explain, even though maybe that link will go away. They have the right to know how I feel about them, and it's not that I don't want to be around them. It's that this is the situation. Sometimes you have to do those tough conversations, and maybe some people will just shut it off, you know. Like, you give them your consideration, sometimes they will just shut it off and say, you know, like, oh, oh I get it. And then shove it off because they don't want to be vulnerable themselves, or they just don't really value you as. Oh, oops! Have on my phone. Sorry about that. <laughs> so they don't really like value you as their friend in the first place, so they're gonna shove it off or something like that. And that's that's okay too. I I wasn't gonna go about telling them either way. But it's up until I figured out that they were also feeling that way of why aren't we close. So I felt that they deserved to know. We're going to hang out next Wednesday, which would be, um, let me do math. 28th, which would be the 28th. All right, two days, counting today as the 26th, because we're on the 26th. Um, that's about it. That's about it. That's all it is. So, friend group. That's how, that's how it works.
what about living in today's economy? Um, right now, financial-wise, I don't have anything. Nada. I get paid next Friday. I'm technically right now living paycheck to paycheck because, yeah, um, got fucked up. I got fucked over financially. I lent money to someone I shouldn't, and that person isn't, won't, and ever will pay me back. So, that's just how it is. I was counting on that money, and that's another thing you shouldn't count on anybody. I, it's not that I wanted to count on that person. It was a situation where, little by little, I was giving them money. It wasn't a big amount. But, the boy there. In any case, little by little, I was giving them money. And then, it turned into a huge amount. And then I was t giving them money that I would have used for savings. And they promised they would pay me back. And there's the thing. I never, never give, I never give money. I heard this somewhere. That's true. Never give what you need back. If you give something that just, in my mind, just set it, forget it. That money is gone. Gone. They give you back. Awesome. Friendship continues. <laughs> Transactions continue. If they don't give it to you back, awesome too. I, it's not that I really needed that money. I'm not counting on that money. In my mind, it was gone. So I'm not counting on that, but I know that this person, I can't count on with this. And I'll just, this is myself and this part, or at least financially wise, I'll just, no, I can't, I don't have any more money. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm pretty tight. But whenever you can, if you can pay me back that 20, see what I mean? Type stuff. Yeah. That's that. I don't want to extend it too long. But what I was trying to say financially wise, leaving pay to paycheck. It's kind of like how most people are living right now, 2024. So if you're watching this from the future, I hope that that's not the case as much. Maybe we teach people in school to, to invest and stuff. I did have investments as well. I did have some, but then I sold them all because I had to go to to my hometown for a couple months, like I said. So I, I, spent, all, I spent like all my savings on that. Well, not all of them. My other savings were, you know, were lent yeah i lent i lended it i lent it to someone and then gone so i am completely zero i have nothing i guess that's why your average 21 year old well most people are in financial debt right now because it's because of college and education right now i'm not in college or i am getting education like i said i am studying for my series series seven series six well, Series 6, I'm starting for Series 6, and material for Series 6, but I'm really going to try to get the 7. I got my SAE, I got my life insurance, I got, I'm able to sell all types of insurance, automobile, house, cameras, all that stuff. And also, I wanted to um, really start learning in April. So, March is kind of like my rebound month, because February is about to end. March is like my rebound, and then after that, after I rebound, um, I'm going to start investing in my other business, just going to get in clients, but mostly want to invest in myself in education, that's what I really want to do, I want to, like my girlfriend, yeah, I'll, I'll call her that, because I bet you know, I bet you know now that something happened, or I'm with that person right now in the future. But, um, yeah, she studies, um, I know she's waiting to start at the university, but in the meantime, she's, like, studying so much stuff, and she's getting more and more certifications, learning so much more while she waits, and I'm like, hey, I can do that, too. I'm already studying for other stuff, but I can, I want to be in plans that give me certifications, and I want to really invest money, in, invest more money into my education in the future. Um, yeah, that's about it. Okay, I believe that's how it is, then page to paycheck, paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, well, I guess I'll see you guys um, today, or tomorrow, February 26th. So, see ya.